Hello everyone, hope you're all doing well today. Today I'm going to go over some uh, manganese glass bottles I found the last year and a half since I've been digging. For those that don't know, manganese dioxide became known as glass maker soap and it was added to the glass batch to remove naturally occurring green tint caused by iron impurities and during the glass making process. This now colorless glass since uh, the manganese dioxide was added to it, will variably turn amethyst upon long-term exposure to sunlight. And that is called sun-purpled glass or sun-purpling. Manganese dioxide was most commonly used from the 1880s to about the end of World War I, when it was replaced by the use of selenium. And I stopped using uh, manganese for a variety of reasons. So let's uh, see what we got here. I'm not going to go into the particular bottles a whole lot. just want to show them. This is a case gin. It's got a faint purplish color. You can see it down there against the, the white background. Here's one here. It's a little more purplish. You can see now the purple color depends upon how much manganese was used in the glass and also how long it's been exposed to sunlight. Wyeth and Brothers, Philadelphia. This one here I found last year. It's a nice bottle, Excelsior Feeder. Blown from the 1880s I believe. It's not quite as purple as these other ones. Parisian Sage, hair tonic, try to get a little more focused here, there we go, another blown bottle, and British Troop Oil, found this one not too long ago, it's a nice bottle, nice purplish color. Next, we got the Rundle's Liniment, and I found this in the same uh, spot as the British Troop Oil. Well, this one is machine made. You can see there, seams right up to the top. This one here is a nice amethyst color, blown, little strap side. There's a real tiny manganese glass one all sorts of shapes and sizes here's one here I like the shape of this bottle no markings on it though yep and we have two Vaseline bottles this one here is quite a bit more purplish than this one and they're both different. This one says trademark on it, and this one doesn't. Okay. Next, we have this little perfume. It's cracked up there. But it's a screw top. You get that cover off it. And it's a uh, got a ground lip on it. Let me get focused here. See that? Once again, it's got these wheel really uh, wide threads that seem to be a characteristic of these uh, ground lip screw tops. And finally. I have this, what I believe is a uh, paperweight. My viewers have identified it. And it's a nice amethyst color. Which I found not too long ago as well. So, there we are. So you can see, there's a variety of uh, different hues of amethyst or purplish color. 
And supposedly the longer they're exposed to sunlight, the darker they'll get. So we'll have to see in the future. So that's it, uh, folks. Uh, I want to thank you for watching. And we'll see you all in the next one. Have a good day.